Ba -ba -bum. Greetings all! Last Outrider here with the next part of the Cult Mechanicus, the Legio Cybernetica. The automatons of the Legio Cybernetica are counted amongst the mightiest of servants of the machine god. When roused to wrath, their powerful claws flex, their rasping voxes emit praise blurts to the glory of the Omnissiah, and their guns spit hot death into the enemy. Truly these machines are blessed, for unlike those warriors who bear the curse of flesh, the robots of the cult Mechanicus hiber neither doubt nor weakness. Since the aftermath of the War Master Horus's rebellion, the Legio Cybernetica's robots have been controlled completely by their masters, not by the bioplastic cerebra and nerve like tendril webs of Mechanicum constructs, but by sanctified doctrina wafers no bigger than the cards of the Emperor's Tarot. There's an interesting connection. These slivers of wetware are entrusted to the Cybernetica's data smiths that accompany the robot maniples to war. Inserted into the data slot hidden beneath each robot's chest plate, the wafer's command protocol will dictate every iota of the host's behavior, usually optimizing its ability to destroy its foes in a spectacular fashion. Should a robot be controlled by a protector pattern doctrina wafer, it will concentrate its efforts towards ranged combat mowing down rank upon rank of the enemy with enough accuracy a mere human could never hope to match. If the accompanying tech priest wishes to change the behavior of his charges, for instance, to the assault-oriented conqueror protocol, he must manually remove the first doctrina wafer, and insert a new one in its place. Many patterns of doctrina are in short order supply. That the robots, the, oh, I'm sorry, many patterns of doctrina wafers are in shorter supply than the robots themselves. Though there are dozens of robot clades and auto-autonomies, each is entirely mechanical and hence easier to maintain than the fusion of biomatter and electronics that form each doctrina wafer. Furthermore, whenever a maniple of robots finds itself in a battle mode without a data smith, it will continue to prosecute its last doctrina protocol until it runs out of power, something that usually takes weeks of unbridled slaughter to achieve. Such risks and limitations are willingly accepted by the cult mechanicus, for the act of hardwiring independent thought into a battle automaton is strictly forbidden. Who knows how many maniples of the Legio Cybernetica could be fielded if the ancient prohibition of artificial life was lifted. Though the robots of the Legio Cybernetica once numbered enough to shatter entire alien empires unto themselves, a great many have been lost to the ravages of time. The secrets of their construction are all but forgotten.
Because of this, it takes a tech priest of surpassing rank to sanction their use. And absurd lengths are taken to retrieve those that fall in action. Yet those stoic machine remain machines remain a common sight in the armies of the cult mechanicus. For a religious brotherhood that believes flesh to be weak and metal incorruptible, to wield such mighty war constructs is to command the angels of the Omnissia itself. There you go. So you got a lot of interesting tidbits there now. Robots are considered angels of the Omnissia. They have no AI, no artificial intelligence at all. Basically, they pop in a little, what was it called? Uh, a wafer, which basically, a doctrinal wafer, which basically is its brain. You take it out, it's nothing. It has all of the books and some of the books and what they're referring to in the Horus Heresy is that they put in these artificial brains in the uh, Legio Cybernetica's robots, which were capable of forming attachments, almost emotional attachments to certain legions, picking up certain personalities. They would scrub these brains of all memories afterwards, but they would still keep some little idiosyncrasies and eccentricities of personality. That is now an impossibility. The robots, without a Doctrina wafer, are nothing but a machine with no ability to act at all. And with the Doctrina wafer, it has still no ability to act outside of its programming. It will just continue killing everything in its sight continuously until it runs out of power. Period. Interesting stuff. But the thing that I found most interesting is the number of robots that they had. Like they said, the number of robots in the Legio Cybernetica once numbered enough to shatter entire alien empires by themselves, without a single tech priest, Skitari, or anybody else. They could just field hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of robots by themselves. And the only thing that's limiting them now is the fact that there are fewer doctrinal wafers than there are robots. Crazy, but true. So, next time we will go on to the processions of the faithful. War processions of the cult mechanicus. Until then, bye.